In this training video, we'll review Onshape's ability to model parts together in a single part studio. Let's get started. Onshape part studios are tabs in which you create and edit component geometry. Now you can build individual parts in separate part studios or build them together in a single part studio. Building them together is the preferred approach as it has distinct advantages. You can create parts with fewer steps, build inherent relationships between parts, and do less work when making changes. Consider the components that make up this cantilevered clamp assembly. There are a number of duplicate instances in this assembly, but the unique components include two arms, two vice blocks, four unique pin spacers across the width, and the screw with a small handle. So here in One Part Studio, I'll start with a nice layout sketch and a midplane which I've already created. And let's start by creating the clamp arms. I'll start by making the large arm. To do this, I'll use Extrude. I type in the Extrude depth and pick the areas of the sketch which represent the contours of the large arm. I'll save time by selecting the entire sketch and then deselecting areas I don't want to include. When I'm done, Onshape has added Part 1 to the Parts list, and I'll rename it using a right mouse click. I'll use the same sketch to create the small arm. I again choose Extrude and specify the depth, and then choose the areas. I need to tell Onshape that I don't want to add material, but instead want to create a new part. I do this in the Extrude dialog. In the graphic area, the color changes, then I see a new part added to the parts list, even before I complete the command. I'll accept this and rename this part Small Arm. Just to review, I used one sketch to extrude two parts. Now I'm going to use new sketches to represent the size and placement of my spacer pins. I'll start by sketching on the upper face of the large arm and draw two circles. One circle will be sized to the lower radius of the arm, but for the second circle, I'll specify a diameter using a dimension. I'll leave this sketch for the time being and create a new sketch on the top of the small arm. I can specify the dimension of this pin, but instead I'll build a relationship with the similar circle on the last sketch. I simply add an equal relationship between the circles. Now I have two sketches that were created on two different planar faces of two different parts, but Onshape will still allow me to extrude these new sketches together. I choose the Extrude command and select the sketches. Now I can flip the direction and specify a surface to extrude up to, so I'll choose the midplane which I created earlier. Nice. Four parts are made together. They are consistently built, and they're inherently related in size and position to the clamp arms. Now they need some more features. You can see we have interferences with the clamp arms, but no worries. I can create shoulder cuts on all pins at once using Onshape's fantastic boolean command. I simply use the two clamp arms to shape the pins. They're still only half pins, but I can mirror all of them together. But now I have eight halves, so I'll use the join command to join all the appropriate halves as well. I'll just use the window select to pick several parts at once. So very quickly, using only a few features, we created six parts and we could start building our assembly. But let's quickly make some design changes just to illustrate how efficiently change propagates through all the parts that we built. If I go back to the original sketch and resize things, I'll not only change the size of the clamp arms, but the diameter and position of two of the pins. I can hit the final button while I'm editing and actually see the changes as I make them. Remember, I didn't have to write any equations between the parts. They all have inherent relationships because they're built together. If I want to add chamfers to all pins, I can do this at one time. I'll roll back before the mirror and add one chamfer feature. In traditional CAD, I would probably need to edit each pin file individually and would have to do four times the work every time I make a change. Okay, this concludes the lesson and hopefully you get the idea. You should build your parts together, share sketches and features whenever possible, and not only will you design faster, but your edits will be easier as well.